Hello there. So today we are going to deal with the motor that powers your fan in your microwave oven. It's the one slowing down on the back there. And so have you ever wondered why it rotates in that single direction? Why not the other direction? So wh that's what we are going to find out today. That's the motor over there. And we are going to deal with what is known as the shaded pole motor. For this experiment, I will be using this busted motor. It has the wires all cut up because I don't want to destroy the other one. So this is what I'm going to cut up and remove the, what is known as the shaded pole that I will show you in a few minutes. Construction-wise, the shaded pole motor is comprised of a rotor and a stator. The stator is the one on the table and I'm holding what is known as the rotor, the rotating part. It's known as a squeeze cage rotor because it has windings at the middle there which are shorted at both ends. This rotor is made up of aluminium. So it's what is known as a squirrel cage rotor. And this is the stator, the stationary part. It has the winding at the bottom there. I will replace this winding for experiment. So just hang on. After removing the winding, I'm left with the stator. And what I'm cutting there is the shorted winding that creates what is known as a shaded pole. The shaded pole purpose is to start the motor, to start it rotating, because as you know, induction motors, single phase induction motors are not self-starting. So they use this shaded pole that is a shorted winding across the stator to delay the magnetic field, which in turn starts the motor to rotate. So the strategic position of this shorted windings are such that the rotor will rotate in a clockwise direction. So what we are going to do is that we are going to remove this shaded pole and then see what happens. While in the microwave oven, these motors rotate in a clockwise direction when you view them from the front and this in turn pumps air from the outside at the back of your microwave oven through the magnetron and into the cavity. So this cools the magnetron because it becomes very hot while you are heating your food. So make sure there is no dust at the back of your microwave oven because this motor pumps that air and dust into your food. So without the shaded pole, this motor is not self-starting. You must give it a push so that it starts rotating in the direction you want. Right now it's rotating in the anti-clockwise direction. Then I start it again in the other direction and it will keep rotating in that direction until I remove the power. It's also a very weak motor because I can stop it with my fingers. Then I rotate it in the other direction and it will start rotating in the other direction. So microwave oven manufacturers use this type of single phase shaded pole induction motor in their microwave ovens because it's a low cost, low power, doesn't have any moving parts that requires maintenance like brushes, it just rotates like that on its own. And because it's used for very short periods of time, it can last a very long time. So you've learned that the shaded pole winding is installed in such a way that the motor will start in that particular direction. You did? Yeah. Mm. So how is it working? It can go any direction. We stop to change direction. I can see. change. Can I change? What? It's known. Mm. But nothing is a stop, I'm going to go the other way. Mm. 